This your boy Big Creep. Yeah, you already know what it is, man. What's happening, bro, bro? You not rocking with the chaotic vibes. Yeah. A DJ C Chaos. <laughs> On IndioRadio.com. Check, check, check. You already know what time it is. DJ C Chaos, Chaotic Vibes Podcast. Right here, IndioRadio.com. Special guest in the building, Ashton Jones. Ashton well, not, and yeah, I was gonna say, all right, yeah. all right. It's like, is are we going? Are we yeah, going? Artist formerly yeah. known as? Yeah, well, it's, it's I'm still Ashton Jones, but okay. you know, artist side of me is Ashton. Oh, so that's your real name? Ashton Jones. Both are my real names. It's oh. so crazy because uh, Mira is my middle name. Okay, okay. I was about to say Jones is just, my last name. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Aliases and she got two IDs, y'all. Don't, don't let her get so this I just, shit twisted. Yeah, so I just. Yeah, I like the name Amir. It was my mom's favorite name. Okay. Um, rest in peace. Yeah, so I, I was like, yeah, for my artist side, mm-hmm. Ashton Amir. You know, the act, actress side, Ashton Jones. So formally introduce yourself before we get too deep into this. Who are you? Where are you from? I am, of course, we know what my name is now, but um, I'm from Nashville, Tennessee. Okay. Yeah, I've been here for like, in Atlanta for like six years. Okay. Yeah. Why? Why would make the move? What happened? What like music, man? It's oh. just. But you coming from the of, music city. You know, people say that, but um, it's crazy. But it's only country music. Everyone knows okay. that. And you know, blues, uh, rock and roll. Mm-hmm. This is totally different from my vibe. Most definitely. Yeah, and um, I was more like R and B soul. Okay. And, and then when I got to Atlanta, it kind of trapped me out a little bit. <laughs> I was about to say, cause <laughs> when you walk in, you don't you don't give me R and B soul. you know, because you know when I came here. When I came here, my look was definitely R and B. So, and then you know, just I don't know the the vibe of Atlanta just changed. My, something in the air. Yeah, something in the air, which is dope. I love yeah. it. You know, I perform overseas a lot, and well, you know, so I I got a little bit of everything. Like you know, going to Germany and seeing people different colors of hair. You know, we do that here. We yeah. as black women in Atlanta, that's what we do. Yeah. We we uh, we go and overboard. She's with the blue hair. <laughs> We go overboard with the fashion, you yeah. know, women. And so I loved it when I came here. I was like, man, sauce, man. I got a little, got a little sauce now. Most definitely. Yeah. So you know, Nashville is a great place for um, writing music. You mm-hmm. know, it's good, really dope songwriters there. And so that's how I got into writing music because I'm under publishing. I have a publishing deal. Okay. And so I write. I write, you know, for TV shows and film, or whatever. Well, how does that? How do you? How do you balance that? Because I know as a creative period yeah when you when you're I'm not going to say lending it out but when you're selling the sauce yeah. so many different ways <laughs> it's hard to kind of keep it focused on yourself yeah it's um I think it's just natural okay yeah cuz if you if you um if you overthink it then it becomes work and mm-hmm. then it doesn't it doesn't come off right but I think it's just a natural thing there's certain songs that I'll write and I'll, I'll know off the back like that is not for me i'm yeah. supposed to like shop it to a, a show or something okay. you know but some songs i'm like nah that's that's ashton right there i'm gonna yeah. keep that for my project okay. you know but so it, it's it's definitely natural it's, it's easy to balance so before we so before we go too far ahead let's go backwards yes and let, let's get some of your inspirations why you started like how you started you coming from the music city i understand but what what made you say okay you know what this is what i'm gonna do It's crazy because um, I didn't know this is what I wanted to do. Okay. I um, (laughs) almost went to the military. Whoa. Yeah, people don't know that. That's a... I would guess to say a fun fact about me, because <laughs> it's kind of weird. Why the military, you know? Let me tell you why. My my family was in the Air Force. Okay. Like, you know, okay. my mom um, did a, you know, a little bit. My grandmother mm-hmm. in the Air Force. My grandfather in the Air Force. Mm-hmm. And so I was in ROTC in school. So um, it 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 was kind of natural. Like it was like, oh okay. That's just you what know. you knew. Yeah, like okay. it's cool. You know, I come from the church in a military background, so. I'm like, okay, I'm going to just sing in church, and then I go to the military, yeah. you know. But um, I met, uh, I was actually wait, uh, waitressing at Cracker Barrel. <laughs> no okay. lie. I was waitressing at Cracker Barrel, and I met this producer. Mm-hmm. And he looked at me and was like, you ain't supposed to be here. Yeah. And I was just about to go to the Air Force. Mm-hmm. Like, I was getting myself prepared, you yeah. know. Um, he was like, you a singer? And I was like, how do you know I sing? He was just like, you just look like a singer. You know, you look like a singer. He gave me his card. 
I took his card and he introduced me to another producer. Um, um, Bar None is his name. He's okay. a dope producer out of um, Nashville. Okay. Um, and after that, it, I was in the studio and then he introduced me to a, a, a publishing company, this guy that owns a publishing company. Mm -hmm. uh, and they were like, did you write that? And I was like, yeah, yeah, I was just playing around. Yeah, and he yeah. was like, oh, no, nah, you need to come. We need to have a meeting with you. I was 19 years old. Okay. Yeah, so um, had a meeting, got, got, got the publishing deal. It was crazy. <laughs> like, the next week, I was... <laughs> so it kind of, like, just changed your life. It in changed like my a, life, in yeah. In a two-week span. It changed my life. Long yeah, I didn't have to go to the military. I, mm -hmm. I did that. You know, money was coming in. I mm -hmm. was like, man, that's kind of crazy. So I didn't. It, so it just this is not something it. you ever like. You didn't plan for this. You no, just... I didn't plan for it. I was singing in church, so yeah. I I didn't plan for it at all. I wasn't supposed to do it professionally, you know. So once I did that, you know, then the, you know, American Idol comes to play. Like I started. Okay, speak on that. We, we, we was going. We was going. We was going to do that, but it's, you know, if you're going to just jump right, right into, it, let's go ahead and get into it. You want your own American yeah, Idol? Yeah. yeah what like, season? It was season 10. Season so 10. So it was a minute ago. That but was a little it was, while ago. Yeah, but still, you know, My engineer still is new. very interested to know how far you got. Oh, yeah. Top 13. Yeah, top 13. Yeah, top 13. It was 13. finals. It was the finals, yeah. She was top 13. I was actually sorry. a wild a wild card, if you know about that. So the wild card works like it's you get eliminated. Mm -hmm. Like, I got voted off. Because mm -hmm. I sung the worst song ever. Like, I shouldn't have did. I did a Dinah Ross song or something. Whew. I was like, I shouldn't have That's did that. Tough. It was, But I. But the the crazy thing about it is they give you a list of songs. Mm -hmm. So you have to pick. From the list. Yeah. And it, it's just not the. Yo. Yeah. This, the list is a hot mess. <laughs> so I was like, yo, fuck it. I'm going to just. <laughs> you gonna do it. You know Fuck what I'm saying? It. I'm gonna just do this song. And then I did it and it, it got me, you know, it got me eliminated. And then they was like, the, they picked me for the wild card. The okay. judges did not want to see me go. That's what happened. They didn't want to see me go. Mm -hmm. So they said, you gotta sing for your life. Okay. And so I sung the, um, uh, uh, what's the name? The child's name. And I'm telling you, I'm not going, I'm, I'm not going. I, mm -hmm. I, you know, it's an old, yeah, old no, song no, or whatever. No so I sung it, sung the, the death out of it. Yeah. Yeah. And and standing ovation, mm -hmm. got back on the show, boom, in there, you know? Okay. And that's what made me, you know, go to the finals. So it was pretty cool. How was the whole experience of American Idol? Because I hear, you know, it's like some of the worst pressure ever. I hear, like, it's a great experience for I, people. Like, how, how was American Idol for I want to say, you know, I, I envy the people that say, yo, this is... Um, I, I didn't like. That's just because their own, their own. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Whatever. Whatever they went had. on. Yeah. yeah. With them, like it was the best experience of my life because okay. it it opened doors for me and it allowed me to um, to learn my stage presence. Okay. I'm in front of hundreds and thousands. So is of people. American Idol like your first? Performing experience? No. Okay. I was performing, of course, okay. before. Yeah, because okay. I was doing music before okay. that. Yeah. Well, I, we, we just we jumped, so I, was, yeah, I didn't know how far doing, that jump but, was. But, you know, before that is not so important because that was just preparing me for the big stage. Foundation is always like, important. Yeah, but it was like, you know, it, it was my city, yeah. and my city was definitely behind me, and okay. they still are. Okay. So, but I, the, I had never been in front of that large of a stage, you know what I'm saying, yeah. all those people. So it prepared me, and it just, you know, for everything, interviews, how to present myself, how, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So when people say, like, man, it was, it was whack, man. They, you know, it, it, was, they, it was rigged, and yeah. it's, not, it's not rigged, man. It's not. It's, 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 you, you put your all out there, and if you ain't doing what you're supposed to do, like, yeah. you, you go. Like, that's it. And if you kill it you stay yeah. <laughs> and it's just it's just that simple okay but it was the it was the greatest experience ever so what did what did american idol do for you i mean top 13 that's pretty impressive yeah 13 out of what it was i'm sure it's uh, hundreds of people it was, uh, t uh, it was uh 200 and something thousand Shit. people 200 and something thousand yeah yeah so in in nashville i um it was 
10,000 people. Uh -oh. that, yeah, my number was 80, uh, 8,838. I'll never forget that number. That's and I hard. was by myself. That's hard. Because my mom couldn't take off work. No, yeah. None of my friends couldn't take off work. I was at work. Yeah. <laughs> and my mom hit me up and was like, you need to you need to go take off right now. Just take a break and just go try it. I was like, Ma, I can't do that. I'm was at it work. big? Like, was it like, like, because... I'm from New York. When there's yeah. always some type of audition going, like yeah. I don't ever pay attention to any yeah, type. Yeah, it was like, huge. It was like some big shit out it there. It was huge. Okay. Yeah. So, so I I asked my boss if I could if I could you yeah. know if I could leave for a second, and she was just like, no, but you're not guaranteed to make it on the show, so I don't think it's a good idea for you to. I was oh, like, she was what? A hater. <laughs> she was a hater. I was like, excuse me, what? So I um I left. I quit that day. I was there for like. A year and a half at that job. I quit uh -huh. that day, and I went. And I, you know, I didn't know what I was gonna do. What was gonna happen? Yeah. And I just made it all the way through. It was crazy. Top thirteen. Yeah, it was crazy. That's, that's pretty fucking yeah, top I mean, thirteen. <laughs> like, don't don't like. I mean, we're not going. We're gonna we're not gonna smear top yeah, thirteen out of two hundred thousand. Like, that's a lot of people, like, man. That's but, a fucking thirteen. Yeah, that's, that's a lot 13 of, yeah. of 200,000. I don't yeah. even know the risk. And you know I don't know that say, ratio. like, oh, oh, who's the winner? Yeah. I say me because yeah. I felt like I, that's me winning right there. Yeah. Not saying, oh, I was number one and mm -hmm. I was the one that won. But as long coming as you from got where, something out of it, yo, though. Coming from where I came from, I'm like, y'all don't understand. That, that's, that was winning for me. Speak on Nashville a little bit. Like, I don't, like just because you said that, I've never been to Nashville. I don't yeah. know anything about Nashville. I hear shit but what like speak on Nashville I'm at least not, what, like from your experience from your uh, eyes Nashville is a beautiful place okay. okay I'll say that and supportive mm -hmm. okay I will say that very supportive um they have grown and Nashville's grown a lot since I moved it's a new Nashville now that's what okay. it's called new Nashville so um you've got like you got like uh, artists like Two Live Bree, who are killing it. Young artists that are yeah. super like taking over. Most definitely. Yeah, you know. So it's it's dope. The hip hop and R and B uh, side of it has really grown since mm -hmm. I was there. Like yeah. it was nobody but like Young Buck. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It I was like think about young yeah, Buck. it was like nobody. Fucking <laughs> Buck. And and then the crazy thing is, I'm the first R and B female to come out of Nashville. That's actually had some success yeah so the first one to sign a publishing deal mm -hmm. everything so it's just like dang like is it, is it's it not like atlanta pressure? is there any pressure behind that a little bit yeah because it's like you know i already know what's happening right now in my life but yeah. it took me a minute to get yeah. to this point i know exactly where i'm about to go like stuff is about to really kick off for me in a major way but it took years yeah. for me to get here and I was like it's been pressure because you got fans from there like we can't wait we can't yeah. wait we yeah. can't wait when it's gonna happen when it's gonna happen so so it's been a lot of pressure that's why I haven't stopped yeah I, I never stopped that's I mean like okay. but that's that in as much pressure as that is I think that's also like taste making yeah in, in, my, in my own words you know what yeah. I'm saying like you coming from a space where like I ain't I just cause you said young buck I can think of young yeah. buck off the top of my head but yeah. I don't necessarily hear too many people nah and I'm only saying Nashville. really I'm only saying it because I mean think about it he's the only no I mean that's hip hop real. artist that really made you know what I'm saying yeah I can, I'm literally not thinking of anybody yeah who, it's not it's no one Except for people in Memphis. Yeah. But that's not Nashville. Memphis and Nashville are two so, totally different places. So, so is that one of them situations like Memphis is Memphis, Nashville is Nashville. Yeah. Like there's no, it's no crossing it's in between. Nope. None. <laughs> <laughs> it's not. How far are they it's apart? It's almost like a different state. Jesus. Like, it's, it even, it's even, it's just too different. Mm -hmm. We even talk different. Okay. Like it's, Different yeah. slang. Everything. <laughs> Everything. It's like four hours, I think, four from Nashville. Hours? Oh, yeah, that's yeah, fucking journey. Yeah, Jesus so it was like, yeah. I don't know. I, I think I've been to Tennessee once or twice. And I think we went to, like, Knoxville. Yeah. Like, like right if you go to Nashville now, you'll have a good time. Yeah. Like, you'll go and be like, oh, they lit, like, yeah. in Nashville. But then, like, six years ago? Yeah. <laughs> if no clubs, no yeah. nothing? I mean, no, there's clubs. Okay. Yeah. Oh, yeah. They, they, it's popping a little bit now. But it's it's they're calling it the mini Atlanta. Yeah. Why everybody want to be like Atlanta? Because Atlanta 
was dope. Like, it's, I mean, it's, I, and I, I definitely, you I know. I would rather stay here than L.A. You know most definitely. Most, I think it's just a, better for us as a people. Yo, I'm a southern chick. I'm yeah. not moving to L.A. I might have a condo there and yeah. just to have when I go there to record. Yeah. But I'm not moving there and saying, oh, this is where I live now. Yeah. No, I'm staying in the south. Or I like New York, too, though, because I go there a lot. I was about to say, you can't be disrespectful to New York. I'm not, because I, I love, love it. I love New York. No, I love, I have family there. I love New York. Okay. So, um, at, yo, I've got um, a couple of my team members that live in New York. Okay. So, I, I love New York. I always said I would do, I would definitely live in New York. Okay. Yes. So, what makes you a Southern girl? Like, what is, what is that comprised of? Because I'm from New York. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So, I don't know, I don't too much know yeah. what a southern girl southern girl i guess the sweet the sweet southern chick you know Can like you cook? i and I'm, i was gonna get oh, to that. Okay. yeah my the way i was raised i think you know mm -hmm. my grandparents my mom everybody you know they took care of their man mm -hmm. like if you if you see them like married or whatever they you know ironing his clothes when he gets yeah. up for you know making breakfast making sure every you know the house is but still going to work not yeah. sitting at home okay. of course but you know um i am a I could cook my ass off. We're gonna have to test that. Hey, Izzy, <laughs> we're gonna have to test that out. We're I gonna, can what's, cook what, what's, your say, what's your specialty? I mean, of course, soul food is my specialty because I'm from the South. Yeah. But my favorite is Italian food, okay. seafood, okay. you know, whatever. But I really can cook. And I really can cook because my mom, you know, rest in peace, but my mom was a great cook. Okay. Yeah. So I just used, I would just watch her. You know what I'm saying? But, cooking um, with Ashton Jones with and Ashton, Ashton and Ashton to Amir, <laughs> and we're gonna get some food in this Yo, motherfucker. I'm telling you right now, you you be like, man. <laughs> we like to eat around here, so yeah. we're gonna see. We're gonna definitely set that yeah, yeah, up. Yeah. We're gonna have my people reach out to your people. My fried gonna... chicken is the best. Okay. I'm telling you okay. right now. Hey, you said it on and camera. And it's Nashville hot chicken too. It's like spicy. It's what? Yeah, have you heard of Nashville hot chicken? Never. Have you heard of a Nashville hot chicken? You never? Oh my god! Oh yeah, I'm about to, I'm about to mess y'all up. Nashville hot chicken. Yes. I, I know one person from Nashville. I'm gonna call him and ask him about. Oh, I was gonna Nashville. say me. <laughs> <Hot> <laughs> no, he's chicken. gonna say yeah. That's that's the best. It's the best chicken you've ever had. Yeah. Okay. We gonna say, hey, yeah. <laughs> we gonna we like to eat around here, so we gonna put this shit to yeah. the test. But yeah, but Southern girl, like all of those elements of a Southern girl, like, you know, um, I'm just sweet. I'm a sweetheart. You yeah. know, people might look at me and be like, oh, look at her, like colorful person, yeah. like, you know, whatever. But I'm like a sweetheart, like, yeah. you know, very loyal, super dope. And, you know, not, you know, unless somebody messes with me oh, and then it's boy. a wrap. And oh, then I'm a boy. Hey, that's <laughs> if I've ever heard yeah. anything about Nashville. <laughs> It's, you know, y'all like to fight, so. Yeah, I don't fight, though. Like, fist fight? Yeah. Nah, I haven't. Man, I haven't, the last time I had a fight was in school. Okay. Nobody wants to fight me. <laughs> I haven't had. Seriously, what they, they don't, they don't, they don't be wanting to fight me. Okay. They be wanting to hang and shit. Like, oh, I thought you were saying because, you know, I didn't beat so many people up. No, uh, no, no, no. Oh, okay. My last fight, I did win that. Okay. Yeah, but that was a long, yo. <laughs> ain't fighting, man. For what? Ain't nobody doing all that now. <laughs> All right, so let's let's get back to the music. Yes. Um, unfortunately, we don't have anything present, but we yes. can speak on something. Yes, yes, I'm dropping a new single that I cannot let you guys hear yet. I wish we had the boo la boo. I know. That's why. Well, you already did it, so. <laughs> <laughs> it would have been hard. Matter of fact, edit that. Edit but that you know, in. Boo. But you know I'm coming. I'm gonna come back because when I definitely. when I drop it, I'm you gonna have come to. back. Yeah, I wanna you come to. back and um and and drop it on your show. Okay. Because it's dope. So. I want it first though. You like, want it first? First. Oh Lord. First, first, first. Lord. Exclusive. You gotta make it up to me. Yeah. My feelings is hurt now. Okay, I will do that. But yeah, it's, just let um, us know what we can be expecting. Though. Yeah, uh, well, um, I'm I'm shooting the video for it um, in Miami for Fourth of July. Mm -hmm. So of course, a little bit after that, okay, I will be dropping it. Names. You gotta do it right, man. You know, and that's what I'm about now. Just doing everything right, and not just putting stuff out there just because. Uh, I just want the business right. I want you know. I just wanted to all be right. So is it one song or is it a project? Yeah, it's, it's one single that I'm dropping first, and okay. then I'm gonna drop drop a couple of singles can after we, that. Can we get the name? Yeah, Ooh La La. Ooh is La La. The first single, yeah. What's Ooh La La about? 
Then I'm be telling you about the song. Why not? I can't <laughs> hear it. I gotta, you gotta let me know something. I'm gonna let you hear it. You gotta hear it first. I can't okay. talk about it. Okay. Yeah, but it's dope. Just think about like Scarface. Okay. Like that that type of vibe. Okay. Yachts and stuff. Gangsters. Water and, and, oh, yeah. mo- the money side. Women and money. Oh, and okay, okay, that. cool. Yeah, think okay. About that. Okay. Yeah. Big baller shot. So, <laughs> you're so silly. So I'm proud. I'm very proud because. Um, you know, of course, I write my own music. Mm-hmm. Um, I produce myself as well. Okay. I mean, not the the tracks, of course. I'm definitely getting tracks from dope producers, but I um, do everything myself. So how, like, because we were just talking about stuff of that nature, mm-hmm. and um, we were talking, I, I, I said, it's hard for me to believe mm-hmm. that artists go to another level or go to their highest peak mm-hmm. on their own. Yeah, yeah, I, I agree. And I don't really think it's a on your own thing. I think that, I think it's, you know, when you're an artist, you want people to feel who you are. Most definitely. And, and, I, and I'm not saying that I'm going to do that for the rest of my career. Okay. But I definitely want this dope ass project to I want people to get to know Ashton the introduction yeah I want I them to you. get to know who I am and what I'm talking about and mm-hmm. how what the talent that I have when it comes down to writing Most definitely. I want them to see that you know um, so it's def I definitely want to work with people after this project okay. you know what I'm saying co-writers you know other producers and any like specific people that you I, like gun- definitely Chris Brown uh, okay. Janae Akio um um, who else? Um, I'd like to get with her as well. Um, you know the guy Slack? Is that his name? Is it Black or Slack? The artist? Black. Is it Black or Slack? Oh, it's Black. Say, it's because black. it looks like it's black. his it's name black. is He's black. just from Zone 6. I just love, I love, yeah. his, I love the way Shout he... Shout out to Black. Yeah, that's dope. But I definitely want to work with him. Okay. So dope. You know, like those are... Definitely, like, top tier, super dope. Or I think we all listen to them. Yes. So, yeah, yes. Like, I definitely think that. And, and, and they're great writers. That's why yeah, I like most them. It's definitely. not just them singing or whatever. Mm-hmm. They're great writers. I want to get with some dope writers. So is there a project on the way as well? Yeah, I definitely. That'll be coming after I drop the couple of singles. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that'll be coming. And, but, you know. Do we get a name for that? Nope. Jesus Christ. <laughs> She came up here with secrets for yeah, us, boy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's just the one secret. That's all. There's but two. everything else. <laughs> we counting. Two, two secrets. That's two. Yeah. But so, after American Idol, then what? What happened? Because now we got new TV shows. Yeah. Yeah. Well, we skip. Yeah, 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 yeah. I worked with a few people. Did um, some world tours overseas. Why do people skip over stuff? No, no, no. Why do people <laughs> come in here and say the most like mind blowing shit in the like most nonchalant way ever? Yeah, you know, after we did the top 13, we went on a couple world tours, uh, a oh, couple Grammys. Like, Y'all can see his face. Like, no, they, they, I, oh, they, it's, oh it's crazy to me. Like, so, all right. Pause. American Idol. Yes. World tour. Yes. How and did that, like, how, why, <laughs> what, when, well, <laughs> where? <laughs> you're so silly. Um, I went on a, it was, it was like an American Idol tour. Okay. But it wasn't associated with American Idol. Okay. Um, so crazy. But when I was, as soon as I got off the show, my mom was diagnosed with cancer. Okay. So I wasn't able to go on the um, the American Idol official tour. Okay. Because I, you know, I handling got home. business. Yeah. yeah. I wanted to take care of my mom, but it's so dope how God is because I got offered to do an American Idol tour, but it was totally separate. Okay. And it was you know way later. Okay. And so yeah, went to I was everywhere. <laughs> I went uh, South Korea, uh, Paris, Kuwait, Germany, um, um, Japan. What was, the, what was the best and worst okay. of the tour? The worst. The worst was Kuwait. Why? 
It was nothing. Where is Kuwait? It was nothing. Yeah. yeah okay. It was nothing. It was hot as a month. It was hot yeah. and it was like the, the sand and all. Oh, it was yeah. just, it imagine. was too hot. It was so hot that the um, DJ equipment was fucking up. Yeah, it fried. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah, it fried during the show. They had backups, but mm-hmm. yeah, it was crazy. Yeah, and I we did imagine. it outside. I was like, why are we here? <laughs> <laughs> I was like, y'all got me messed up. <laughs> But I did it without yeah. complaining. But you know, that was the worst. Okay. The best was I would say um, Seoul, Korea. Okay. That was beautiful. It looked like about twenty New York cities in one. Jesus. It was just the 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 architecture and the I don't know, like it was it looked like artificial intelligence all yeah. over the place. I like could imagine. Just, yes. You know, they're so uh, ahead Advanced, of the game. Yeah. yeah. Most definitely. It was uh, it was amazing. Yeah, but after the you know after the tour and all of that, um, I continued to do my music. Met up with um, um, Lecrae. Are you familiar with Lecrae and Big Crit? Okay. Yeah, we got. He reached out to me, wanted me to do this um, record with him. Um, DJ Khalil, I think, is that his name? Is that who it is? <laughs> That's who it is, right? Yeah. yeah. But he did the track. But it was super dope, and. He asked me to, he wanted me to write, you know, of course, to write the hook. Mm-hmm. So I did. Um, I wrote the hook. Um, it's called Mayday. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, it's a smash. It's a smash. It's a smash, yeah. It was on his Gravity album. Okay. Or it is on his Gravity album. So, yeah, Big Crit, super dope, uh, super dope. Um, shout out to Big Crit and Lecrae. Um, How was that experience? Like, just speak on, like, the vibe and, like, it was, was it a room situation or so, was it, so like, an email? Say, well, yeah, it was, de- it was definitely, it was definitely separate. You okay. know, I had to, um, I had to record it. I recorded it in um, Nashville. Okay. So he had to send me the stuff. I had mm-hmm. to send it back. He mm-hmm. was like, okay, do this. And mm-hmm. I sent it back, you know, mm-hmm. back and forth. You know how we do. That's yeah. how we, you know, yeah. do when we can't be in the same studio with each other. But it was it was it was dope. Like that 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 last time I sent it back, like the third time, he was just like, "Yo, I'm about to cry," like it, it was it was magic. Yeah. And I was like, hoping I had to I had to be somewhere. I had to be out of town for a show, mm-hmm. catch a flight. Thought I was gonna miss my flight. And I was like, "Yo, I gotta get this right." You know how that goes. Yeah, like, no, I know how I go, like, for sure. I gotta get this right, man. I ain't gonna make the album. Man. <laughs> like, <laughs> and so I, I ended up doing it, and it, it all was well. And the album won a Grammy. Everybody got their certificates that all wrote yeah. on the album. I was super thankful for that. Like, so, so, Grammy Award winning writer. Why are you shaking your head over there? Because she's so, like, she's so nonchalant about it. It's like, oh, yeah, I got a, I got a world tour. What I am I supposed Grammy. to say? I got I hate a Grammy. Like that yes, I miss. No, no, no. I you feel know? it. I feel it. It's yeah. dope that you're humble. Yeah. It's just like when when I'm sitting here and I'm talking to you about it. It's just like, oh yeah, I did. We almost forgot that I won a Grammy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Like, <laughs> hey, and it's crazy because that's one of the like I ain't gonna I ain't gonna but I don't go to the cracker. Yeah. Like well, that, that was at that time. And think about Nashville. It's you know Cracker Barrels and on every yeah, corner. Yeah. I, I just and, don't feel like. Yeah. I'm welcome when I was I know. In there, so I, I just, know. But I you know what? That. I was welcome there and I made some little money, so I ain't mad at that. <laughs> I ain't mad. Hey look. It's probably different to, now. Shout out to Cracker Barrel for you. Yeah, for me. Because yeah. And it was a start. Producer of, that was, cause, yeah. It and was be a, none, cause Bar none. Bar none. Yeah, shout out. We did all that. <laughs> and now we Grammys. All right. We did it, mama. <laughs> shout out to Bar None too, because he, he was a part of um that album too, so he got a Grammy as well. Okay. Yeah, but um yeah, but it's like work. Hey, that shit is crazy. <laughs> yeah, that's crazy, right? But but so like, all right, you got the Grammy. You first of all you made the project. Yeah. That's in itself. Thank as goodness, an yeah. You know what I'm saying? How do you feel even when it just gets nominated for a Grammy? I was in the studio recording something for myself when mm-hmm. I heard about it. Um, yo, it was, I started crying. I'm not going to lie. Yeah, but you because should. I haven't, I, I had never experienced that yeah. before. So That's hard. Um, I actually, they had the, the TV on mm-hmm. and they showed it on TV. Mm-hmm. LaCrae was on, at the Grammys mm-hmm. and they showed it on TV. Okay. I was like, <laughs> yeah, it was Be crazy. real, did you pop a bottle? Yeah. Popped bottle? I popped several bottles. Did you oh. <laughs> hey, the way I said it. Is over. I popped, popped several, several bottles. bottles. <laughs> you understand? I ain't mad yeah, at that. Yeah, I did. 
Yeah, when did it you, when did, it won. Yeah, when we did, won. Did yeah. you pop shit? Did I like, what? Did you pop some shit? Like fuck out of here. Grammy audit. You know what I'm saying? Y'all can see. You understand? <laughs> like, hey, no more fun. Price I- just went up. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I for a second, and then yeah. I had to come back because I was like, wait a minute, I need it's time to get my own now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Because that's not you, you, you do stuff like that, and that's a great, it's a great accomplishment. Most definitely. God is good, but it's like okay, now it's time to get my own now, yeah. not to be associated with yeah. anybody else's project. Yeah. But I'm thankful that's how it started. Yeah. But because most time definitely, to like that's not that's not something that everybody can just walk around saying. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like yeah. I got. A Grammy yeah. for whatever. For whatever you know what reason, I'm it could like, be for any, yeah. And and so I'm thankful for that, but I'm ready to walk across the stage. Yeah, and, and accept it. Yeah, yourself. just like yeah. going to you know yeah, yeah, yeah. graduating from school. You know it. what I'm saying? The it. diploma. I like I need it. that. <laughs> I feel it. I need the shmoney. <laughs> so uh, yeah, it's time. <laughs> it's time for that. I'm so, not mad at that at all. Though. Yeah, like, I mean that's, that should be everyone's goal. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, like, it should not be. Aiming big, then why are you doing? Yeah. It? You know what I'm saying? So after all of that, um, did I tell you I performed with Beyonce? Oh, I I'm gonna throw my phone at her. I'm gonna throw my phone at her. Oh yeah, but I mean that was that that was uh uh they brought us back to American Idol for the finale. Mm-hmm. You're familiar with that, right? No, I'm not. Okay. I don't think I've ever watched. Listen, I didn't American watch it before Idol. I was on it. Yeah, I don't trust me. I wasn't like, oh, I'm watching this every, yeah, yeah, yeah. every week. No, I wasn't watching it at all. Okay. So. But um, my mom was a big fan of it. Mm-hmm. But yeah, yeah, yeah. So they brought us back, and um, so I performed uh, a couple of little, you know, of her her best songs or whatever okay. with her, with standing her. alongside of her. Yeah, okay. like that was an incredible experience. That, for I, me. I mean, that alone has to be an experience that's yeah. almost mind blowing. Yeah, it was. It was. It was past <laughs> mind blowing for me because I had to play it cool. You yeah. know, yeah, we yeah. got to. Hurts with her and say, hey, are you, are you able to do this booty dance? Yeah, I'm able to do it. <laughs> Fuck you, me. Say, yo, are you crazy? I've been practicing that since I, since I found out about you. As soon as that came out, I was in the mirror like, uh-oh, uh-oh, okay. uh, nigga. You know, like, come on. But so it was just it was just amazing how humble she was. Like, yeah. she was so laid back, total opposite of what you see on what, television yeah. and in the videos. And I was like, she was just like, okay, everybody, you know. Yeah. I was like, so soft, like what what okay. time what time period are we talking about right now? This what was, Beyonce are we talking about? Uh, this oh, this was um. You probably don't remember the songs and stuff. Like this was like when she did one plus one. Okay, that one. You remember too. that? Yeah, yeah, that was was that wasn't wasn't that on the Beyonce album? Or was that the album before? That was, I think album? it was the one before. Okay. Yeah, yeah, it was the one before. I got you. I can, we can kind of gauge that a little bit. Yeah, so, yes. Oh, my goodness. So, that was great. Yeah, that was so that was yeah, dope. Hey, when people <laughs> watch this, they're going to be like, why is she like... You got a million dollars or something. She got. She done hit a milli or something because she's just like... Oh yeah, you know that shit no. was that shit was straight. You know what's crazy? That shit was straight. But you know what's crazy? Like when you look up people's net worth. Yeah. Like I looked up mine and I was like, "Where is that at?" <laughs> <laughs> it said four million dollars, and I was like, "What?" You having it? <laughs> hey, <laughs> right here. Speaking it. Aston Jones, Aston Amir, four million <laughs> a piece. Yo, that it said like if you look it up right now, it says that. Is he look it up? Like for real, look it up. Look it up right now. Net worth. I was like, oh, damn, you're oh, right. You're right. You're right. You're right. You're right. I we got damn. it right here. Shout out to Fox. Oh, she, 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 she screenshotted that motherfucker. No, I screenshot it. Shut up. I'm looking for it, though. But so. But yeah, so it was just, it was an amazing experience. Um, here you go, right here. <laughs> it's funny. Oh, it says five million now. Oh, you've been working. Let's see here. Yeah, they, I don't know where you they're been, getting that from. You've been working. You've been working. You can't. Where are they getting this from? Don't yeah. show people my screen. Don't, don't cut yourself on my screen. No, no, no. You're good. <laughs> five million. Yeah. I, That's weird, right? Look how different I look compared to that. No, yeah, I, I'm seeing that as well. That's crazy. Five million. Yeah, you but, worth it. You having it, shorty. That Bugatti ain't, you know, that booster, that booster stock. She pulled up in a Bugatti, yeah. 
<laughs> she pulled up on Gresham Road oh, the last he on the east side oh, of Atlanta the and the Bugatti. <laughs> you understand? <laughs> Oh, wow. Not, so but like, yeah, so after what, did I, what was that? Okay, beyond that was cool. Um, Beyonce, and then after that, that I just yo, I've been since then. I've been, I've been um, traveling. Mm-hmm. I, I, I perform overseas a lot. Um, the last place I was at, well, I did Dubai, of course. That wasn't on the tour. That was just that was just also awesome. yeah. You know, it was whatever. I did Dubai. Stop it. It was I. Right. <laughs> no, no, that was. Dumb. I kind of fuck with them a little bit. No, nah, that's dope. Uh, they asked me to come back. Um, the uh, they asked me to come back. Actually, from like, what I hear, they stuff. have like a super dope urban. It's the best. Like, it's the best. It's, yeah. It's yes. It's like Atlanta popping bottles on a thousand. <laughs> like it's just like wow. Like go go dances in the sky and yeah. you know. Like on the ribbons and, and dancing and glitter flying everywhere and bottles and all you see is gold bottles and pink bottles. <laughs> I'm serious. And you and you go out there. I and go out there. They showed me so much love. They treated me like a Beyonce. Okay. Like um, I I performed at a club. Um, what was it called? What was the name of that club? I can't remember. I can't remember. But it was I remember it was Candy Crush Wednesdays okay. or whatever. Mm-hmm. But I performed at this dope one of their biggest clubs and it was also my birthday okay and so they had it was the best welcoming ever like it was they had banner you know how they have the digital banner yeah but there's my name everywhere like it was just it was love that's hard that's how and it's crazy like the states they they don't really do they, that they appreciate us different yeah they appreciate you else. when you get to a certain status yeah, yeah. No, it's I'm like, saying like when you go other places, they appreciate yeah, you yeah. way different. Yeah, like it's, it's like different, yeah. it's like they're looking at us here like, oh she. Like oh my god, yeah. And here it's like, oh okay, you you done what? Oh okay, I'll wait till you get to Beyonce yeah. status, and then I'll start. <laughs> That's maybe because <laughs> you, know you walk saying? around like, too humble, because you like shit. Yeah, I did that. No. Nah. I had performed with um. Yeah. Beyonce, she was cool. I'm gonna always be like that, no matter what. <laughs> that's While hard I'm though. Sitting on 10 that's, mil. <laughs> that's hard though because it's like, I and I say it all the time. It's like sometimes, even like as a DJ, you yeah. be, you get in this like mode, like yeah, I'm the shit. Yeah. But, well, my music is definitely uh, like I'm definitely the shit in my music. Yeah. Like if when you hear it, you're gonna be like, oh, she's talking her shit. I like, mean, I don't know. I, don't, <laughs> I was gonna save this, but I don't know that you recall. And I'm kind of put your business out in the street a little bit. But you came to Diamond Club one time. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> so I've heard a little something about a little something about yeah. a little something. Well, okay. good. Glad you got a little snippet. <laughs> <laughs> Next. <laughs> I'm always around, guys. <laughs> hey, man. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I'm always around. But, um... But yeah. Nah, like so so you now you're just I'm perform- freelance yeah. performer. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Last place I was at was Grenada. Okay. Yeah, was that? that was amazing. Um very peaceful place. Um no crime at all. No I, no crime. crime. None. None. I don't understand that. It's that yeah, me neither. They must have like the craziest laws. In it's no crime at all. There. It's no. It's just peaceful. That's that. It lets you know that there can be peace. Yeah. And it's just, it's. It was just incredible. That's very, super very, dope. Yeah. So so now we're getting ready. Are we getting ready for Shine? Or are we doing yeah, Shine? We, yeah, we're getting ready for Shine. Speak um, on Shine, for, yeah, just for that's those what who I, don't know. I really want to get into. Yeah, Shine is a, a singing competition. Mm-hmm. Um, it's, it's actually uh, voted the number one um, web series Okay. Um, now. That's okay. really dope. That's super so, dope. Shout out to Shine and Brandon Stewart. Yeah, 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 yeah. So the the you know it won an award. I actually won an award for best judge. Okay. Oh, you're yeah. a judge on there. I'm a judge on okay. there. Okay. I'm on the other side. Okay. You know. Oh, oh so yeah. you deciding fates now. <laughs> okay. Rub hands. <laughs> like so, Birdman, right, you under. Right. Right. So I um yeah. So I'm doing. It, it's a it's a singing competition that's based um uh, off of finding talent that that knows how to write for themselves. Okay. So we're looking for artists, not karaoke singers. Yeah. And um, that's the difference between this and, like, an American Idol or The Voice or something like that, which, um, of course, those shows, uh, you know, like, I would say American Idol started off 
just like this. Yeah. They were just, you know, yeah. you know, trying to, you know, trying to get people to support them. But um, uh, so we're looking for artists. We're looking for artists, and I think the age limit is 15. Okay. Um, as yeah. being the youngest, or it, being the, yes, I'm okay. sorry. The um, is being the. I say that all the time. Like I've done interviews, and I kept saying the same thing over and over again. But anyway, 15 is the youngest yet. Um, and holding our auditions in Cincinnati, Indianapolis, Kentucky, that area. Okay. Yeah. So uh, the first season was really, really dope. It was a huge mm -hmm. success. Um, lots of lots of kids, lots of kids trying to you know, trying to pursue their dreams. Um, and this year is the second season, and we are shooting it next month. Okay. Yeah, it'll be out in the fall. All right. Yeah. So, so let, help me understand. It, we're, it's a show where we're not only looking for a singing talent. Yeah. But you have to also write. You also have to know how to write. Yeah. They when they're auditioning, of course they're auditioning singing cover songs. Okay. But once you get into make it into the competition. It's like we're a camp of some sort. Yeah, we're okay. looking for you to uh, come up with your own music. We put them in groups, so they have to come up with group songs. Uh -huh. They do it by themselves, so they have to come up with their own songs. A lot of them playing instruments, you know. Yeah. They're just dope like that. You know? Yeah, most definitely. Yeah, so, um, and they, some of them have their own tracks, like beats from yeah. producers. And yeah. So that's dope, too, because it's R&B and country music, pop. Oh, it's genres. not just singing. It's not, Huh? It's not just R and B. No, it's it's not. No, it's it, it's actually no R and B is a little bit of it. Okay. <laughs> it's actually mostly country and pop. Okay. Top forty. And we had some some hip hop and R and B last year. Okay. Yeah, but we definitely. So we how did how did you get involved with Shine? So Brandon Stewart is the producer of the show. He's a All young right. kid um, that lives in L.A. Okay. And he was on American Idol some years before me. Okay. Yeah. And so him and I met online. Mm -hmm. And he reached out to me um, because, of course, you know, this, he knew about me and I knew about him, you know, from Idol and all that. But he reached out to me about the show. And um, I was like, oh, okay. He was just like, yo, I want to get you as a judge. And I was like, okay, I could do that. You yeah. Know? I love that. I'd love to. Why not? Yeah. It would be fun. I didn't think it was going to be a big thing, though. Yeah. I thought it was going to, you know, people yeah, say they're going to yeah, do stuff. Yeah. <laughs> and I was just like, oh, okay. You know, and it ended up being something dope. Like, I was like, oh, man, you got all the production behind it, the, the team, the PR company, marketing, all. I was like, okay, you're, you're doing really well. And now this year has turned all the way up. Like, he, he's, he's partnered in with Awesomeness TV. He's, um, yeah, we're looking to be on networks. And, like, okay. everything is just coming together so rapidly. So I'm proud. I'm proud to be a part of it. So, so. It's three judges, too. Who are the other judges? So it's, it's, it's me. Right. The, the lady, of course, the only lady. It's okay. Brandon Stewart, the producer of the show. Okay. And then we have a new judge. His name is Two Live Bree. I spoke about him earlier. Yeah. He's a um, uh, Nashville hip hop artist. Okay. Young cat. He's so lit. So is this is this show based out of Nashville? No, it's not. Okay. It's um Kentucky. Okay. Yeah, Kentucky. Um, since like I said, uh, Cincinnati, Cincinnati mm -hmm. Indianapolis. Okay. Um, Kentucky, whatever. Yeah. So. It's so weird. Not Nashville at all. Not Nashville at all. How do you feel about that though? I like it. You like it not being in Nashville at all? Yeah, I mean. When yeah. I mean, it's your city. I thought you would want to. Even if it was, it'd be cool if it, it's I'm not. I'm just saying, like, I would figure you yeah. would want to develop some talent outside of, uh, outside of Nashville. Yeah, I, 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 yeah, but I think that'll be a next step. I yeah. could actually bring that to Brandon's attention. Yeah. Like, I could tell him about that. Okay. Yeah. So, cool. so what can we look forward to in season two? Season this two. This is season two, correct? Yeah, season okay. two is going to be double the episodes. Okay. Um, Which will be? Um, it's going to be 20. Oh, whoa. It was 10 last year. Shit. Yeah. Because okay. I had it wrong. I, I said uh, in another interview, I said seven because I thought it was seven. Mm -hmm. But it was actually 10. Okay. So to correct myself, um, is we're doubling it. Mm -hmm. And it's going to be longer. Okay. Yeah, so... That's amazing. That's a good look. You yeah, know? most definitely. So I'm happy. I'm happy. That means somebody's watching. So yeah, a lot of people are where watching. Where can you Where can you view this? So yeah, Brandon TV is. You can subscribe to Brandon TV on YouTube. Okay. To watch it, and also, um, you know, because there's people that are that are coming from out of town to go most to audition. So if you want to audition, you go to doyoushine.com. It's do you do you shine, and it'll give you all the information mm -hmm. to um, you know to send in your tape. 
So, like, what what is it something that, like, just for those who are maybe interested, what are you looking for as a judge when you are sitting there picking people in the audition? I mean, yo, I'm looking for artists. Yeah. Like, I, I want to see who's the next thing. Like, who could be, you know, have the potential to be um, – uh, actual artists like yeah. can write their stuff too and create it's not just about singing yeah. or rapping you know i want to see who can create yeah because that's what it's about we're looking for real talent and not just someone that can get up and sing someone else's song like you know like other competition yeah. shows not to you know yeah put those down but you know that's really all they're doing you don't hear them singing their own songs that's a fact that's and why so a lot they, of them yeah. haven't like correlated that, because it's hard it's hard to it's hard to take an art uh a singer or artist from a show that's only singing karaoke songs, not, I wouldn't say karaoke, but cover songs, yeah. um, and then place them into <laughs> artist world and yeah. say, hey, this is your job. It's hard because you're singing all types of genres. What's the, uh, what's the prize for uh, America? Like, is it like a deal? Amer yeah. yeah, I think you get, you sign, but it's the word, it's, God, man, it's horrible. <laughs> it's like three different contracts or something yeah. three different deals like so what is what's the what's the prize on shine uh well shine we're um i, I don't want to i don't want to say the wrong thing because brandon is the one that can tell you about that okay. but we're definitely we're definitely opening doors for them okay um to you know and i think i think he actually um he told me something they go on to yeah he said they go on to work with networks such as NBC, ABC, and Walt Disney. Okay. Yeah, oh, and, and releasing their music worldwide. Okay. Yeah, so we help with all that. Okay. So it's like an artist development too. So there we go. <laughs> yeah, shout out to Brandon. We shout out to Brandon. He's so <laughs> no, he's he's so talented. Yeah. He's talented. He really is. We're gonna have to get Brandon in one day. He needs See. to come. Yeah, he needs Most to come definitely. to Atlanta. Most. He keeps trying to get me to move to LA. Oh, you did say you lived in yeah, LA. Yeah, I'm like, no. <laughs> <laughs> I ain't mad at that. Yeah. So, so what's the hardest thing you would say? Because you were once on the other side. Yes. And now you're judging. Yes. Like, what's the hardest part about being a judge? It's really hard. It's, oh, gosh, man. It's like, I'm the voice of reason on the show. I'm okay. the one that's like, <laughs> I talk about, Brandon is is harsh and he's he's like a simon yeah you know he's he doesn't play he's like yo that doesn't sound good you, yeah. you need to just not try to sing at all ever Whoa. like <laughs> but he's cool he's not yeah. just like crushing people yeah. but he's letting them know yeah. you know there's he's certain blunt, things, yeah he's blunt and i'm just like yeah you know <laughs> <laughs> it's hard for me to say no it's hard for me to you know to 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 shut them down and um, until I'm like, okay, now, yeah, yeah, you, that's you know, not that's not it. But it's it's very hard because you're looking at someone that is getting up in front of you like I was, mm -hmm. and that's they're singing their heart out. This is their passion. This is their dream. And when you have to tell them, hey, it's not for you this year. Come back next year. Yeah. It's hard. These are like kids to me. Like they're you know, 15, 16, 17. You know. Do you do you get as many like? Cause I know. Only thing I remember American Idol for was like the jokes, you yeah. know what I'm saying? Like the people who would get up there just yeah. to kind of go viral at yeah, the time. Yeah. You get a lot of that. We got we. It's so crazy you said that. But we he posted a, he posted something. I think it was yesterday, laughing about an audition that we had, mm. and this guy was in face paint. Okay. And, <laughs> He just came oh, out but yeah, face wig. paint, a wig, a guitar. Like, it was just, come on, guy. Like, it was so, it was funny. But, yeah, we had people last year or the last season that were just being funny for yeah. no reason. Yeah. But, you know, we kept it. We kept that. <laughs> we hey, shine yeah. on Brandon TV. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ashton Amir is a judge. Yeah, yeah. Play on her emotional strings you might go through. <laughs> yeah. Don't talk to Brandon because he's yeah, going to shut cry, you down. Yeah, cry, cry. <laughs> yeah, but, um, yeah, so that's that. And, you know, a lot of a lot of dope things are happening. I'm working with a um, producer, out, a Russian producer out in Russia. Russian. Um, yeah, his name is Z-Skol. Okay. Z Skull is his name. Okay. Um, he reminds me. He's like a David Guetta, you know. Okay. He, yeah, okay. he's like that. Okay. I'm talking about thousands of people in, okay. in festivals, and you know, he's he's like huge over there. Okay. So him and I are. Uh, well, we've already completed it. I um, he sent me over some music. Mm -hmm. I wrote. I wrote. You know, a song, and we're about to. We are about to um, 
um, drop it the end of July okay. through uh, Sony Global. Hard. Right. Very excited right. about that. Congratulations. Thank you very much. Yes, yeah, so I'm excited about that too. I'm also uh, <laughs> also on, give it yeah, to us. also um you know who Amari is from Power that yeah. plays Ghost, right? Mm -hmm. You know, did you know that he was a um like a rapper, poet? Like I he did. he's I into did. music. I had no idea. I know, right? Nobody knows. But he's um he's got a project coming out too. He's got Nas on it, Solange, um <laughs> Common. Yeah. Okay. Um, all those, you know, yeah. yeah, all those different, you know, different flavors. And me, of course. All I, right. And I, I landed two records on the album, so I'm excited singing about that. Singing or just writing? Of course, singing oh, okay. and writing, baby. Oh, look, wrote I'm both, just... Wrote okay. both hooks, yeah. And then um, one is uh, with uh, T.I. and um, um, what is that kid's name? What is this kid's name? I can't believe I'm forgetting his name. I, it'll come back to me. But anyway, yeah. So I'm I'm doing that with him. It's gonna be dope. I'm excited about Super that. Super dope shit yeah. coming up. Anything else coming up? Cause I'm we're, to like think. we're now we're not getting into secrets. We're getting into <laughs> some shit now. Yeah, Jeez, like I've, I've got to tell you all this dope stuff is coming up. Um, I think that's it for now. I think for now. That's for now. It. Yeah, for now. <laughs> for now. So so stuff. we got Shine season yeah. two on the way. Yes. We got projects with uh, Z. Z School. Shout out to Z School. Russian guy. Russia. Shout out to the homie. Hope you tuned Definitely in. Definitely going to be touring there with him. It's going to be That's awesome. That's super dope. Yeah, it's going to be hey, awesome. Have you been? I haven't. Oh, I was going to say, I want to know how cold it really I is. Know. Like, I know. I can't wait. I can't, it's going to be wait. the total opposite from Koi. I can't wait. But um, so projects with him, projects yeah. with Amari. Yeah. Anything else? I think that that's we can it. know. I think that's it. You got any shout outs before we get out of here? Um, I sent a shout out to um, Trans Lee is his name. Trans Lee. <laughs> he going to kill me. That's the homie. He's going to kill me. He's going to be like, I know you ain't forget my name. Like, it's so much going on, Trans. So shout out to you, babe. Shout out to Trans Lee. That's yeah. the homie forever. Yeah. He need to come sit down for a Yeah, he does. He's so dope. He's the one that reached out to me for, um, for that project. Okay. So, Shout him out for real. Super um, dope. I'm trying to think what else is there. Oh, uh, shout out to Sean King. Sean King is um, going to be directing my um, video, La La. Uh, Sean a, King? Yeah, Sean, Sean King. King. Like, Sean King, Sean King? What do you mean, Sean King, Sean King? What's Sean King you talking about? He's a, he's a um, film director. Oh, okay. Yeah. I, Who are you talking about? I'm oh. thinking about Sean <laughs> Kingston. Dumbass. Oh. <laughs> Bloop. Yeah, that was my fault. Yeah, I wasn't the only one that messed up today. Yeah, I, I, I'm over here like, yay! Direct video. He talking about a whole yeah. So person. shout out to him. He's gonna be, um, yeah. Shout out to him. He's gonna be shooting the video. He's he's a uh, he's dope. He's super dope. Um, who else should I shout out? Shout out to Tasha. She uh, produces a lot of music for me. She's so dope. Lots of uh, Grammy awards. She has Dove Awards for the best best song of the year and she's she's a dope producer shout yeah. out to her uh, shout out to uh, track bangers out in LA Smitty who's uh, Post Malone's um, producer okay. and DJ okay he does a lot of shout out to Smitty yes yeah, shout out to him um, and who else who else who else who else there's a, there's a lot of people. You know how you think yeah, about a lot yeah, of people. Yeah, you got you to gotta get it it's right. Like, man, you got to get it I right. I don't care, but I'll, get, I'll look it. I'll, I don't yeah. care. No, I'll you look. have to. You have to. Because I want to make sure that I'm not You know a lot listen. of people in the industry. You can't. Oh, Curtis Lamont, he he does a lot of uh, he's done a lot of tracks for my um, upcoming album that's coming out. Okay. So shout out to him, Curtis Lamont. He's got like three at least. So he's he's pretty dope. Um, and of course, shout and out to she Shine. Hit a, she hit a little note for us. Yeah. Anybody catch that? Shout out, to, <laughs> shout out to Shine, of course. Brandon Stewart, shout out to you. Shout out to Two Live Breed. Um, Zisco, you, Montana White. He's super Street dope. Watch XM, yeah, shout out Street to them. Street Watch, for yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. And shout out to 107.9 as well. Okay. Yeah be up there soon shout out to everybody shout out That's to the it. world yeah, shout, shout out, out to, to the world, world. factual family action. everybody all that people that support me thank you so shout much. out to nashville 
Shout out to Cashville, Tennessee. <laughs> Shout out to Young Buck. <laughs> No, I did not. Shout out to Young Buck. I did not say that. But <laughs> I said shout out to Nat. He, he said that. Yeah, shout that's the first him. person I ever heard say that. So yeah. that's why I shouted out Young yeah. Buck. That was my shout out. Shout and that out was, yeah, I, that wasn't a shout out. That was really just me saying <laughs> that he's the only, you know what I'm saying? I had to correct you because you're going to have. That's hilarious. Yeah, but no, nah, it's all good. Now, we definitely appreciate you coming out, though. We definitely Thank appreciate you. you sharing your story with us. Thank you for having me. No problem. Anytime. Make sure we come back when that album drops. So I'm coming now. I'm drop. coming back. Ne- it'll be next month. Say next no month, I'm coming back. I'm gonna drop. I'm gonna drop. La la. So I definitely want to come back and let. Say no know. more. We gonna we gonna make it happen. It's gonna definitely we gonna be make the sure summer anthem. Be, yeah, we gonna make sure that's in rotation and everything. Thank you. I Most definitely. It. Yeah, yeah. You already know what time it is. DJ C Chaos Chaotic Vibes Podcast. We signing off. <laughs>